In today's video, we're gonna modify this kite so we can fly it without whoa, whoa, whoa. using a string. Up, up. All right, so we have a fun project today. This here is my prism isotope. And if you guys ever remember as kids or even adults flying kites, oftentimes when you get out to the field, uh, it's either too calm to fly or not the right conditions here. Uh, this kite here is real special to me because my wife actually got this for me for a gift on our last family vacation to the beach. And every time I go out and fly it, it's oftentimes too calm to fly that I don't get to have much fun with it. So I thought today, what fun would it be to actually make this kite RC? Now this has been done lots of times before but one thing I really don't want to do is actually hurt the kite because I want to be able to go from RC to normal. I've seen lots of people make these kind of kites RC before but oftentimes it's a full commitment to making it RC. You have control surfaces and feathers. Today I want to try something special where I make a pod that will mount to the kite, make it RC, but then I can remove it to make it fly just as a kite without any damage to the frame. So doing a little bit of research online here, what I saw was a lot of kites with uh, typical RC conversions here would oftentimes have a rudder uh, on the back that would kick both directions and then a motor in the front. I wanna kinda avoid this because it involves push rods and a lot of things that have to permanently fasten onto the kite. What I'm kinda thinking here with my prism, I'm thinking of actually mounting a boom right on the leading edge here and then putting two motors on the very tip. We have a mechanism called the tough tilt that can help us actually move these motors back and forth. And what I'm hoping to do is to be able to make this platform where it reinforces the front, holds all my electronics, and then instead of having control surfaces on the back here, what we're gonna have is actually thrust vectoring in the front. If this works out well, we'll be able to fly the whole kite with yaw, pitch, and bank through just two motors and two servos and no control surfaces whatsoever. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna get to work. I'm gonna design the wooden frame that's gonna hold all of our electronics. We're gonna find out the center of gravity and we're gonna get started. The first thing I need to do is to figure out how to make this kite hold all the electronics I need. To do this, I'm gonna go ahead and design a wooden plate that will strap into the carbon fiber reinforcement and that will enable me to install and uninstall the plate on there. From that point, I'm gonna go ahead and establish my center of gravity. Okay, so what Josh is working on right now is he's taking these triangular shaped fabric vertical stabilizers and he's reinforcing them with foam. Traditionally, when the kite is flying, the wind is pushing it against the string which is holding it to the ground and so it kept those triangles kind of taut. Now, when this thing is flying, off of our C power, it's not gonna have that tension from the string. So what Josh is doing is he's taking some of our maker foam and he's basically just reinforcing those and making them into what will be vertical stabilizers for this RC kite. So it looks like he's just about wrapping up. We gotta give this thing a little glide test. Before we get any further, we gotta make sure that this thing is gonna glide like an airplane. So let's go check it out. So we got, we got our plate here and there's a good reason why we actually made a big beefy plate. This is gonna need a lot of nose weight and we're gonna kinda intend to put the motors up front so so as we put more and stuff up front, we don't have to rely, and I can even lighten this up a lot. But you know, for structure and everything, right. for gripping in. Exactly, looks pretty rigid for a kite. Right. Yeah, well, nice little handhold and stuff, and then I went ahead and just put some foam inserts so it looks like a kite. I don't know how much this is needed for stability, uh -huh. but my guess is back here, it's actually gonna probably make a track a little bit good. Yeah, I think so. It almost acts like a tail back there probably. Yeah. Hopefully, hopefully. We just gotta get the CG and then see if this works, and if it glides, then we go ahead and put electronics. Can I throw it at your head? Yeah, sure. Okay, cool. <laughs> I don't know if it's nose heavy or tail heavy or just right. We'll I guess see. we'll see. Oh! Oh, wow! <laughs> okay, well, <laughs> it went pretty quick. I thought it was going to be slow, but maybe not. Woo! A little nose heavy, maybe? Maybe a little nose heavy, yeah. yeah. There we go. And I want it to kind of be like a high alpha. I want it to look like a kite flying through the air, but right. really slow. That was not. All right, you ready? Yeah. Better. A little better. I think somewhere in between there would be better. All right, so while these guys are out there glide testing this thing, I wanna take this time to tell you guys about our sponsor for this video, and that is our friends over at NordVPN. Now, if you guys aren't familiar with NordVPN, Nord is our go-to virtual private network. And there's a couple reasons for that. First things first is they're super fast servers. They got over 5,560 different countries. And what that allows you to do is you can unlock Netflix in your favorite entertainment websites wherever you go. Beyond that, it has no data logging and it has 24 seven customer support with live chat and emails. Now, if you're a little bit hesitant about trying it, there's no worries because it has a 30 day money back guarantee. The beauty about it is it protects data while traveling in public, airports, coffee shops, and it works globally. It even works in China. 
Another great thing is it has up to six simultaneous connections. It also has a cybersecurity suite which acts as an ad blocker and to top it all off it has double data encryption for increased anonymity. And it also has unlimited bandwidth. So here's the best part about all of this is you can actually get 70% off right now of NordVPN which comes to $349 per month and on top of that you also get a single month for free. And that's if you go to nordvpn.com slash flight test and use our coupon code flight test. So again we'll put links down below to all this stuff and again thank you to NordVPN for sponsoring this video and also thank you guys for watching it wouldn't be possible without you so let's go see how the gliding is coming with this kite. Uh, it's actually pretty calm. Cool. Perfect. All right, I got the tail on, so they make it more tail heavy now with the drag. Awesome. All right, you ready? No, you good? Yep. Three, two, one. Oh, no. Oh! That's awkward. Well. <laughs> well. Let it dry? Sure. So up on the front, this is gonna be a twin engine aircraft and Josh is gonna be mounting the motors on a boom, but it's not gonna be a fixed motor mount. We're actually using our old school tough tilt tricopter motor mounts. And basically, back in the day before quadcopters became the most popular type of drone, a lot of people would fly tricopters. Now, as you probably could guess, they had three motors, but the interesting thing is, is that the back motor had a tilt mechanism. Now, this is how the tricopter not only compensated for the torque of the motors, but it also controlled its yaw. By spinning that back motor left or right, it would cause the tricopter to spin left and right. So we developed this tough tilt mechanism as a simple DIY solution which you could attach a servo and your motor to and give it that yaw capability. Sadly enough, the age of tricopters came to an end and that was mainly just because the simplicity and performance of the quadcopters with four motors, they're more balanced, they're more symmetrical, and they just overall work a little bit better. That being said, we still had a couple leftover tough tilts from back in the day and so that's what Josh is gonna be doing today. Instead of a tricopter though, it's gonna be on the front of this kite and both of the motors are going to be connected to servos and what this is going to give us is a thrust vectoring setup it's going to give him pitch roll and yaw all from two motors with two servos so speaking of which it looks like josh has this thing hooked up and running it's time to go test let's do it oh that's cool dude, that's really what are you guys doing <laughs> we're testing our motors here dude that looks awesome we're about to go out for the first test flight without the tail here but uh no control surfaces just two motors two tough tilts and two servos to tilt the motors and everything is done so if i want to go up I pull back, so this actually pitches the nose up. If I want to go bank right, it banks right, left, and then differential thrust for the rudder. So That's most wild. most kites that we see fly, they kind of like exist in the air and they have like uh, push rods and, and control surfaces. A lot are also thrust vectored, but I want full control through just two motors. And the whole thing I don't want to do is I don't want to destroy, like my wife got me this as a present at Myrtle Beach. It's special to me. So I want to be able to fly it as a kite at the beach, but also on calm days, just take it up and make it look like, you know, we always have the thing where the kite string breaks and just like floats away. Yeah. <laughs> I want it to fly away. So That's I think awesome. it'll look cool. All right, so we're going to take this out, and, and I'm pretty optimistic. I think it's going to work pretty well. Yeah, same. Uh, but just like everything, we're going to throw it in the air before we go big and figure out what this can do, just to see how it behaves, if we need to make any adjustments here. I'm feeling good about it, man. I'm good. You ready? All right, let's try that. Yep, I'm ready. just going to underhand launch it. All right, sounds good. Three, two. <laughs> it's fun, but different, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. Go up, up, up. <laughs> Look at the battery. Oh god. So we we gotta fix that. Yeah, that didn't last very long. What do you think what do you think it is? Do you think it's just going with because we're going with the wind there? Dude, I'm sorry. I don't, don't be I've sorry. had a real streak of crashing your planes no, lately. No, huh? no, no. This is, <laughs> this is why we don't have an Alex out here and everyone. We got to figure out how to make it fly good. I guess so. Yeah. What do you think it did? Do you think? I mean, do you think that's a limitation with a? Uh, I think F C G would definitely help. Uh, more F C G. More F C G. Yeah. Let's see if there's anything that's like we can like, cobble back together. Yeah. And let's just go extreme on that and see how she feels. Because sounds good. To me, it felt like very much flying an airplane that was very nose heavy. Yeah, yeah. Uh, versus a kite. Maybe bigger props too, more thrust. Potentially, yeah. The Power Pack F definitely flew our kite, but it didn't fly it very well. We're gonna go ahead and upgrade this to a Power Pack B Twin, which will give us more power and more efficiency. And also, I could fly it off of a four cell without it getting too hot. A lot of you guys may know our Power Pack B from a lot of our Simple Series lines. The Simple Series Cub and Scout are incredibly popular and also a really great way to get in the hobby if you guys are interested. All right, so as you can see, the first test was kind of questionable, but they got the new Power Pack set up and it's about time to 
go fly. But before we do so, I wanted to give a shout out to all of our subscribers. Thank you guys so much for being here. You're the reason we're able to make these videos for you. And if you're not subscribed, make sure you do so. It helps us out way more than you could ever imagine. And it allows us to do these videos and these projects for you guys on YouTube. So thank you so much. And it looks like they're heading out to the field. Let's go do some flying. All right, so here's the really cool thing. We have kite string here and we don't need it because we have motors. We have motors. We have motors. Two of them. We're good to go. I think we have this down. Uh, we had a lot of failures yesterday, but all in all, I think we've learned enough. I'm ready yep. to put it in the air and see what it can do. Cool, let's do it. All right, you gonna launch me? Gonna launch you. Uh, there's like no wind right now, which is perfect because we have motors. That's the ultimate thing <laughs> we're excited about. So I'm just gonna launch you any direction. Awesome. All right, guys. You guys ready? Here we go. Good luck. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it. it'd help if I had uh, my differential turned on. I was like, why won't I turn? <laughs> Oh my, there he goes! Dude, it looks like you guys are flying a kite from my perspective. <laughs> it looks awesome, man. All those days of my childhood when I go out with a kite and the wind was dead calm, I feel like this is vengeance, man. Look at it, just right there. I love the tail just flopping there. You remember how unstable it was yesterday? Yeah. Today, whole different picture, man. Dude, it's, it's just parked there. It's parked. It's amazing. <laughs> think we got the CG dialed in? I think it's perfect. All right, let's. I'm just gonna do a little spiral. This is something you can do with a kite every day, right? <laughs> All right, my childhood dreams have come true. <laughs> Last week we did the jamming jet, this week we're flying a kite no end. Bring it back one childhood memory at a time, right? There you go. <laughs> oh my golly. It flies like a kite, but it also flies like a really good RC airplane now too. <laughs> Remember all the instability issues we had before? Yeah. It's gone. It's amazing that you can do that with just like no control surfaces too, yeah, just the just two motors. Two motors. Yeah. The one thing I gotta remind myself is don't try to glide it. Yeah. <laughs> uh, let's see how she punches out. Let's go high. What happens when you try to glide? It just falls? Just falls. Yep. You have no control because uh, all your control is from the motors. Imagine how confused people would be if you're at a park. <laughs> they say no model airplanes allowed. And right. you just sit there with a kite up in the air like that. Look at their special invisible string. Look at you can do wing overs. <laughs> Look at that. It does a loop. <laughs> <laughs> All awesome. right, I, I just got eager, man. Holy cow. Do you think you get some self riding tendencies from that battery on the bottom? It, it actually, um, I feel it maybe just a touch tail heavy. And if you take your hands off of it, this is what it does right here. It just circles. Okay. My guess is we just have one motor just at a slightly, you know, more higher angle. Right. But look at that. So one of our goals here was obviously there's a lot of really amazing flying kites. We found that when we did research and stuff, our goal was to keep this being a kite at the end of the day where we could go back to flying this off of a string. So we didn't want to modify or, you know, overly uh, right. complexificate it. So uh, mission accomplished, man. Nice, I'll tell yeah. you what, I'm gonna do a little pass. I want to give it to you and I want to see what you can do with that it, okay? Sounds good, man. Let's just do some nice tight circles. <laughs> Dude, that's awesome. What a night and day difference from yesterday. It literally looks like a manta ray in the sky. It really does. It even floats like it too. It's just swimming with so, that mouth up front. Oh, you want me to grab you? Uh, yeah, I'm just gonna go by Noah real quick. So one of my one of my favorite kites is this one. My other favorite kite is a shark. Could you imagine doing the same treatment on a shark? That'd be awesome. <laughs> All right, I'll grab you next All right, time. Yeah, here we go. <laughs> In the wind, down. There yeah. it is. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so it was easy to fly fun, but Anders, he has the skills here. Let's see what he can do with it. All right, your turn, buddy. All right, dude. Those B motors were definitely the right move. All right, Andrews, you ready to fly right. this thing, man? I'm ready, man. I had some bad luck with yesterday, but hopefully <laughs> it goes better today. Good man. All right, ready? Here we go. <laughs> Dude, it is so much better. It's it is a lot better. better. The whole reason that we kind of got into this is my wife bought this for me as a special gift uh, when we were on vacation. There's no way I want to start hacking up something so special to me. Yeah. And now the cool thing is, is that I can enjoy it even more. But uh, don't cut my streamer. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think? I like it, man. It flies so much better than yesterday, and you definitely have more power. And we had some pretty hard crashes yesterday, and the really yeah. cool thing was is because kites are made to take a hit with the carbon fiber in the fabric, this could be like a really cool concept to make us a super easy trainer plane. Definitely, yeah. Just beat up over and over and over again. Right. Plus, when you want to make it a kite again, you just cut some zip ties and, and you're, you're back, back, to, back to normal, yeah. That's awesome. Have to choose for the golfers right now. Right. We're behind the kite. <laughs> I've <laughs> never seen that before. Dude, try some stuff. All right, I'm gonna get a little bit more altitude and try uh, maybe a couple loops or something. Yeah. All right. 
Here we go. <laughs> that was more like a turn. That counts. Here we go, that was something. High speed maneuvers. Dude, were you flying upside down? I have no idea. <laughs> you look like you were. <laughs> inverted? Can you find inverted? I mean, I kind of want to try. I I'm going to try roll first. Okay. Uh, whoa, okay. Whoa, that was crazy. <laughs> it, it did kind of what you were doing yesterday with the, like, the flops, yeah. the little snap flop things. Yeah, you almost have to use the aileron and rudder at the same time. Right. The aileron kind of tells it which way it wants to go, go, and then the rudder really kind of brings it home. It really just kicks it over. But that's the most aerobatic kite I've seen, so. <laughs> <laughs> I shouldn't say that there's some really aerobatic kites. Yeah, with like the four strings, whatever, those oh, things yeah. are crazy. So we've obviously, we love everything that flies. We've gotten to go back with our, our power foils where, you know, Bob Parmley was there just working it and just on those craziest windy days, those things can pull you across the sand. And then also we have great one wing kites like this one. Um, we love things that fly and it's just really cool to kind of, you know, build on that. Not gonna lie, I almost lost it there. A few seconds ago when you were talking, I was like, woo! <laughs> I thought you were doing sweet tricks. <laughs> <laughs> Stuff is beeping. You want me to bring her in? Do you want sure. me to catch it? I love how much you can see the motors moving and the props are just wiggling back and forth. It's awesome. Yeah, dude. <laughs> nice, Andrew's coming in. Yeah, nice there catch, you go. dude. He's in one piece. <laughs> and that was, was awesome. a lot of fun. Dude, awesome that was work, awesome, guys. Yeah. Fantastic. Well done. So we learned a lot. You don't necessarily need control surfaces to have a full RC experience. And also, kites are still cool. Yeah, it's just so cool, yeah. <laughs> Friends, I want to thank you for being part of the Flight Test family. Thank you so much for subscribing and hitting that notification bell. And uh, please, keep checking out this video because we have a lot of other crazy projects. Yeah, if you guys want to see other kite videos, you can check those out right here. And until the next time, we'll see you later. See you later.